So what he calculated back in 1973, 1974, is that a black hole, so we picture this thing from which nothing can escape, even light. So when you go in, you're gone, basically. What he calculated is that even though these things are just a distortion in space and time, that's, that's the description of them. So it's almost as if there's nothing there apart from a distortion in space and time. He calculated that they glow, so they have a temperature. So they, they emit radiation. It's called Hawking radiation. And it's so important was that discovery. If you go to Westminster Abbey in London, look on the floor of the Abbey on his memorial stone, and he's in there next to Newton and Shakespeare and all these people, and he's there. And chiselled in stone on the floor of Westminster Abbey is his equation for the temperature of a black hole. So it was this tremendously important discovery. So he, disco he discovers these things glow, and he calculates how they glow. A very low temperature, but they emit things, which means that they shrink because they're, they're emitting stuff, mm -hmm. and so they're shrinking. So that means they have a lifetime. So first of all, one day they'll be gone, 